my name is dr shilam kumar singh and today in this lecture we will discuss about biological diversity or biodiversity simply it refers to all of the different kinds of life on earth biodiversity is not only the sum of all ecosystems species and genetic material rather it also represents the variability within and around them in this lecture we will learn about what is the meaning of biodiversity in science why do we need legislation in biodiversity and what is biodiversity boards to regulate that okay let's move on to the next slide uh, before we begin let's learn some of the terms before understand the act ecosystem any geographic area with all of the living organism present and non living parts of their physical environment involves the movement and the storage of the energy and matter through living things and activities that means ecosystem is a large community of living organism plant animal and microbes in any area in a particular ecosystem living and non living uh, like physical components are linked together through the nutrient cycles and energy flows ecosystem could be in, uh, of any size it may cover a large area such as whole forest or a very small area like a pond but usually they are in particular places now let's move on to community community is a group uh, population of organism of different species that could interact with each other so it's a group of people who share something in common interest community is just something like that and what is population population is a group of individuals belonging to one species living in a area all the, all the organism of the same group or species who live in a particular geographical region and most important thing they are capable of interbreeding so population is a group of individual that can live in a, is a one species that that is one species and living in the same area and the important thing uh, is that they are capable to be interbreeding now let's move on the species uh, species is a group of population of similar organism okay uh, a species is often defined as a group of individuals that actually or potentially interbreed in nature in this sense a species is the biggest gene pool possible under natural conditions and this is an example some of the example we have given here bald eagle and red oak tree okay that next move the gene gene is a very important part of the our diversity a gene is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity we all know that and they are made up of DNA. Some genes act as a instruction to make molecules like called uh, proteins. So basically, they they are functional unit of inheritance and control the transmission and expression of one or more traits. Okay, let's move on to the biodiversity. We have learned about the biodiversity in the first slide. Biodiversity can be different from the biological resources. which is a in a, which is a tangible component of ecosystem the components which we can touch so the biological resources are real entities like particular species of a bird a weed variety a oak wood however the biological diversity is rather an attribute of life that is what kind of bird species what kind of genetic variability of wheat around the world different kinds of forest biodiversity basically boost the ecosystem productivity and in this kind of ecosystem biodiversity uh, where each species no matter how small or how big all have an important role to play for example large number of plant species means a greater variety of crops and the greater variety of crops greater species diversity ensures the natural sustainability of all life forms now we will learn about the different kind of biological diversity
Okay, now we will learn about the bilateral diversity at three levels. So the biological diversity could be divided into the three parts: genetic diversity, species diversity, and the community diversity. As you can see in this picture, here is the uh, such a lower level that is genetic diversity, and after that is species diversity, and after higher level is ecosystem diversity. So what is this genetic diversity? What is species diversity? And what is ecosystem diversity? We will discuss one by one. Genetic diversity gene are the basic unit units of all life on Earth. We know that they are responsible for both similarities and the differences between organisms. However, the gen genetic diversity means the variety of genes within a species as well as between the species. It means the total number of genetic characteristics in the genetic map makeup of a species. For example, we can see diversity in dogs. One is black and another one is white. Similarly, in the next picture, they all are dogs, hordles, German shepherds, and golden retrievers, but they all look different. Why? Due to the different genome. So this is genetic diversity. Now we will come on the part species diversity. Species diversity, it's a variety of species within a habitat or a region. For example, plants, animals, fungi and microorganisms uh, such as palm trees, elephants or bacteria. Some habitats such as rainforest and coral reefs may have many species. Others such as salt flats or polluted streams have fever. Species can be grouped together into families according to the shared characteristics. Now we will move on to the ecosystem diversity. It is the variety of ecosystem in a given place like tropical or temperate forest, hot and cold deserts, wetland rivers, mountains, coral reefs, etc. Each ecosystem corresponds to a series of complex relationships between biotic and abiotic components, which include sunlight, air, water, minerals, and nutrients. Now let's move on to the next. We have discussed the uh, importance of the biodiversity earlier. Biodiversity is very important to the humans also, for many reasons. Like with more plants, trees, and animals, the soils improved and became stronger less prone to the erosion, drought and flooding. So biodiversity is a great importance in order to maintain a stable ecosystem. The destruction of rainforest causes erosion, loss of valuable species and changes in the climate. Ecological life support biodiversity. It provides functioning ecosystem and supply oxygen, clean air and water poll pollination of plants. And many ecosystems Now let's A uh, healthy ecosystem clean our water, purify our air, maintain our soil, and regulate the climate. Biodiversity is the key indicator of the health of an, any ecosystem. Diversity breeds diversity. This includes the gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, geography, socio-economic background. The best organizations have the broadest diversity. And in the nature also have a diverse array of living organisms, which allows other organisms to take advantage of the resource provided. And the genetic diversity, genetic diversity is a very important part of the evolution. Genetic diversity, we can say that it's like a lottery ticket. You don't know which one is will out in the future. The more genetic diversity in the population, the more chances to win in the evolution, evolutionary race. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. This slide shows the biodiversity of India. The Indian landscape poses a rich biodiversity spread over the geographical length and breadth of the country. India contains around 10 biogeographic bio zones and 
which shows the exemplary diversity of ecological habitats like alpine forest, grasslands, wetlands, coastal and marine ecosystem. And this is so as you can see in, in this there are different biotas, animals, protista, animals, and these are the different species. The, of the important fact about the India Indian biodiversity. As we can see that India has a tremendous biodiversity, genetic as well as species and ecosystem. It contains around 7% of the world's biodiversity, that is around 2.5% of the earth's surface. The number of plant species in the plant is estimated 45,523. So India is one nation naturally endowed with resources that provide a sustainable ecosystem not only to the flora and fauna endemic to the region but also various indigenous communities so the challenge for a biodiversity rich country like india is not only to preserve its biological wealth alone but it to also ensure that its conservation and use of used to translate into the well being of its people now let's move on we will see the threats to the biodiversity. Biodiversity is under serious threat as a result of human activities. The main dangers worldwide are population growth and resource consumption, climate change and global warming, habitat conversion and urbanization, invasive alien species, over exploitation of natural resources and environmental degradation. Six major kind of major threats to the biodiversity. I am not going in details because you can read on the slide one by one if you are interested. So the deforestation, habitat loss, and natural degradation, water pollution, and different kind of pollution and climate change. Act biodiversity as till now we have discussed a lot about the biodiversity and its role. In our planet's health the government being aware of significant cost of nation like india could incur if the vulnerable and much needed biodiversity is not put under a protection regime so in order to preserve the biological diversity of our country india india becomes a part of the convention on biological diversity cbd 1992 further a biodiversity act 2002 was introduced by the Parliament of India, which provides mechanism for equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the use of traditional biological resources and knowledge. Now we will see about the Convention on Biological Diversity. Earth Summit 1992 produced the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development. The Statement of Forest Principle and Agenda 21. This Earth Summit also led the establishment of Convention on Biological Diversity and the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC. Over 150 governments signed the documents at the Rio conference and since then around 193 countries have ratified the convention. But the interesting part is this, only four member countries in which included the USA are not parties of the CBD. So the Convention on Biological Diversity is an international legally binded treaty with three main goals. Conservation of biodiversity, sustainable use of biodiversity and fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from the use of now we will biological diversity act i am not going into the detail as you can see it's a very big act which contains around 12 chapters and 65 sections all these chapters are available at this link from National Biodiversity Authority website. You can find the whole documents on this website. 
silent teacher of the biological diversity act after an extensive and intensive consultation process the government of india has brought biological diversity act 2002 let's discuss about the silent features of the act to regulate access to the biological resources of the country equitable share benefits arising out of the use of biological resources for commercial purpose the benefits thus secured and channeled to the benefit claimers and for the converse, conservation of biological diversity next point is to conserve and sustainable use of biological diversity to use the biodiversity in a sustainable manner means use natural resources at rate the earth can renew them it's a way to ensure that we meet the needs of both present and future generation as the human population increases so does the pressure on ecosystem since we draw ever more resources from them okay now to secure uh, sharing of benefits with local populous uh, people as conserves of biological resources and holders of knowledge and information relating to the use of biological resources these are the some of the find you can go by one by if you have any doubts we can discuss on the whatsapp okay now let's move on to the next slide in order to implement this act four level of system were formed among them as we can see in the slide cbd at international level national biodiversity authority at national level state biodiversity board at state and biodiversity management committees at local level nba and sbb are required to consult bmcs in decision to relate to the bio resource related knowledge within their jurisdiction this slide shows three tier system of biodiversity production in india nba sbb and bmc nba Uh, deals with the request for access by foreign individual institutional companies and transfer all of the results of the research to any foreigner while sbb is the state biodiversity boards which access which can accessible by indians for commercial purpose and in the registry to provide about the use of biological resources bmc is the local body biodiversity management committees and they they are the institution of local self government they can conserves and sustainable use documentation of biodiversity national biodiversity authority and the state biodiversity boards should have to consult with the biodiversity management committees while taking any decision relating to the use of biological resources so if nba and sbb want to take permission of any kind of use of the biological resource so they have to take permission from the local biodiversity management committees which is basically deal with the nba and its function nba is a statutory autonomous body under the ministry of environment forest and climate change it is established in 2003 and it implements the provision under the biological diversity act 2002 and nba has its headquarters in chennai and it delivers its mandate to regulate access to the biological resources or associated knowledge for research and bioservice through a structure that comprises of authority and secretariat sbb bmcs and expert committees here of the nbas you can see that mpa nba comprised of 10 ex officials from different ministries and five from non officials and uh, since its establishment nba has supported creation of sbbs in 28 states and facilitated establishment of around 31000 574 bmcs 
different ministries. As we can see, there are all of the ministries are involved, like Ministry of Biotechnology, Ministry of Ocean Development. All of the ex-officials are could be the part of the NPA. In this slide, the non-officials. Non-officials are from the different sectors. They can be the researcher, they can be the industry list, and they can be the any common man. So they have uh, specialist and scientist having special knowledge or experience in the this biodiversity field. Uh, so there is a per uh, one of the provision also. If uh, any members of the NBA or SBA have found some of the points on the basis of these points, it could be removed from the team. These are the under section 11. So, and power of the NBA. These are the function and powers of the NBA. Like, it shall be the duty, uh, like, regulate all of the activities related to the bio resources. It can grant approval for undertaking any activity referred to the section 3, 4, and 6. And uh, it could advise the central government also. And NB advise the state government in the selection of areas of biodiversity. And it measures the necessity to necessarily propose the grant of intellectual property rights in any country outside India. Move on to the state biodiversity board. It is also stabilized under this act and it has the function of advising the state government on the matter of biodiversity and its equitable distribution and utilization within the guidelines of central government but more importantly to regulate the approval of granting or request for commercial utilization of biological resources as we have given in the under section 23 similar to the nba sbb also have one chair person but five ex official members and five non official experts and powers of the state board. It can advise to the state government and regulate the granting of approval. Okay. Biodiversity management committees. The BMC play a vital role in documenting biodiversity, their sustainable means and dealing with the access and benefit sharing issues. As per the Biological Diversity Act, BMC are created under the section 41. So BMC could promote the conservation, sustainable use and documentation of biological diversity at the local level. And in this slide, this is a schematic or procedure of use or seeking IPR on biological resources in India. Any Indian have to like, apply for that and under this procedure, they will be granted our permit use of biological resources. Now let's move on to the next protocol. Nagoya protocol on access to genetic resources and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits is arising from their utilization to the convention on biological diversity. So it's a protocol which will create greater legal certainty and transparency for both providers and users of genetic resources and stabilizing more predictable conditions and it will also help to ensure benefit sharing when genetic resources leaving the contracting party and providing the genetic resources. With the signing of the protocol by India, the total number of the signatory, signatory now stands at 23 which included Germany, Japan and Brazil. Now let's move on some of the people's initiatives to the conservation of the agriculture biodiversity like Beach Bachao, Andolan in Himalayan crops, Deccan Development Society, it's a society agriculture based NGO in Medak district of Telangana. 
it works on various crops improvement programs and activities which can help the local farmers so these are the different ngos and uh, let's move on to the next slide this bachao andolan began in the late 1980s it's a 25 year old led by farmers and social activities activist vijay jardhari dandolan started in the village jardor gaon of district tiri uttaranchal it is famous for the another movement what is the name of that movement chipko andolan chipko andolan is also arises from this village tiri village this movement is not as well known as green revolution but has led to conservation of many lost varieties of rice rajma and other crops now let's move on to the picture shows the community conserved areas of india india has a large range of indigenous and community conserved areas as you can see in the picture these area actually act as a buffer zones they are or connectors or migration corridors in between national park wildlife sanctuaries and reserved uh, and protected forest of india okay so as you can see lots of different areas now let me abbreviation and abbreviation which we have used in the as form now uh, you have to think about these questions and you can mail me the answer at drshail82 at the red gmail.com and if you have any doubts regarding to the topics we can discuss it on our whatsapp group